Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my long awaited makeup routine. I got a lot of requests actually to do this. My makeup routine is pretty much simple. I don't wear it often. I would say I wear it once a week. So it may be like a lot for some people or like just no, you don't even wear makeup a lot. It depends on who you are, but I would say that's how much I wear it, depending on where I'm going. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, so I have my makeup bag right here. My mom got this for me. Don't know where it's from. That's uh, that, I really like it. The first thing I do is I prime my face because you have to set your base. So what I will do is I will do my skincare, serums, moisturizers, I will do an in-depth skincare video, it's probably going to be out next week, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this primer, this is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I really like this one, I haven't tried their other ones, I know that e.l.f. primers are like one of the best companies that make the primers out there. I really like it, so what I do is I squirt some and then I take some and rub it in my two hands. Okay, so I have a mirror to the side if you guys are wondering why I'm looking to the side. Excuse my fingernails, like, it's really not, like, <laughs> uh, my fingernails, what a journey I have with them. So I just put it on my under eye like this, and then I kind of put it on the side of my nose. So you put it under eye, a mist, and sometimes I'll put it right here. And then overall, I just like put like a light coat on my face, just like this. But I put like the heavy stuff like under here and here. And then the rest, I just kind of smear. That's the first step. The next thing I do is I go in with my foundation. So I don't really use a foundation because actually I don't really like foundation that much. I use a skin tint. So I like tinted moisturizers. I like skin tints. But this right here, TikTok had recommended it to me, and it's a drugstore brand because it's L'Oreal. And this is a tinted serum, and I love this stuff, guys. Like, I literally love this stuff. I'm, like, so happy I got it. Basically, it's a serum because that's what it says, but it helps my skin, too. So, like, my face isn't breaking out meanwhile I'm doing my makeup. I have the shade 45 Medium because I got... Um, color match because uh, like all my other videos you guys know that I haven't had the best experience with foundation and stuff I'm gonna go wet this okay so I got my wet beauty blender and now I am going to take some of this right here I don't really have a set place where all of this goes. I just kind of add if I need to. Honestly, the foundation looks way darker in the bottle. But when I put it on my skin, like it literally is pretty much my skin tone. I think that it's just really lightweight. I did try the Fenty Skin Tint. That one worked really good, but I just don't really want to pay $50 every time. And also, that one is more for oily skin. I have dry skin, so that didn't really work for my skin. Usually, I do clip my hair back, or I tie my hair back. I think I tie my hair back more. But this time, I don't because I'm lazy, so... This is just to even out my skin tone. This isn't to cover up anything. I mainly use concealer to cover up more stuff. Once I have that, I go in with my concealer. This one's almost out. I have a refill in my bag. This is the Maybelline Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. I really like Maybelline's concealer. I also like Elf's Camo Concealer. My mom uses the Elf one, but I just, uh, I have this one for right now, so. Yeah, we're using this one. It's almost out. I'm like really pounding it. Put some uh, like right here. A little right here and then um, I just do that on the other side sometimes I do those TikTok techniques where you lift the face and this and that this is my makeup routine not really like how to achieve the perfect makeup look this is where I put it I do use this to cover my pimples I have this one stubborn sis I have this one stubborn and ground pimple or whatever you want to call it also yeah, that's not how you cover up pimples, but that's how I do it. I kind of like to use my fingers just because the sponge, I feel like it takes a lot of it. I'd say I've been doing makeup since I was nine years old, but my nine-year-old makeup was pretty much blush and a little bit of concealer. No mascara, nothing else, just 
Because that's all you need when you're nine, like. <laughs> you don't need all this stuff. Like, no one needs that when you're nine years old. This right here is another thing I like for foundation. I use L'Oreal. So this right here was also a recommendation on TikTok. This is the infallible 24-hour wear powder foundation. This right here is goes great with my makeup routine. I feel like it really just like gives me the extra coverage. What I basically do is I use this kind of as a setting powder. I don't have setting powder just because I don't really like it. Um, for some reason, I don't know. So, I use this brush right here. I don't know what in the world this brush is. This is just, these are just some unicorn brushes I have that my mom got me for Christmas, and they work great. It's kind of like stiff and short. I use this one for foundation. I just pat it like this, and then I put it on my under eye. Now once I got my foundation, I go in with some bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells so good. It smells like Hawaii. I don't know why I said that. I've never been. I use this brush right here, pretty much my contour and bronzer brush. And this is just to kind of bronze up my skin since my skin is kind of pale. Next, I take my Fenty Beauty contour stick. I want to try Rare Beauties just because that one looks so creamy and easy to blend. This is in the shade Amber. And then I put it up here. And then I put three dots right here. I don't know if this really does anything. I just feel like it kind of lifts my face. Then I take the same brush I used for the bronzer. And I kind of stiff it up with my fingers like this. I pretty much have my base set up. Like just all my nude colors. Now once I have this, what I do is I take some blush. I use two blushes. I use the e.l.f. blush right here. It's like that Divas 90 Pop Pink. This is in the shade Bright Pink. But the one I always use is this one. This one's a little more darker. So for blush, I use this one. This is the most big and like puffy brush I have on my br bl bl brush collection. So what I do is I just take a little, spin it around or pat it, and then I just do the apples of my cheeks and just kind of go up, just bring it up to my, um, whatever this is called, do my nose. You guys watching maybe like blush put a lot of blush or like, <laughs> I put more blush than you girl. Okay, so now for my eyelids. I like pink on my eyelids. I'm going to use this e.l.f. I just put it on my eye like this. So once I add that, the next thing I do is I do this. This is the Essence Extreme Long Lasting Soul Liner or whatever it's called. This is in the nude color. This I learned from Millie Bobby Brown. She puts it on her waterline. Sometimes I will use eyeliner. I do that rarely because you guys never see me with eyeliner. If I do use eyeliner and I want a bold one, I use the e.l.f. Or I use this one. I found this at Dollar Tree and it works great. <laughs> I use this a lot more than I use the black one. So do I want it? Do I want it? Do I want it? Yeah, I can do it. I just got to do this off camera though. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. I think I've only done one video with me wearing eyeliner, but you know, there's a saying called eyeliners are sisters, not twins, and that's totally true. But once I do the eyeliner, add the mascara. This mascara is the Essence Lash Princess, but this isn't the blue one. This is the pink one, and the pink one works way better than the blue one. This is the Curl and Volume Mascara. I also, guess what, learned this on TikTok. I pretty much learned a lot of my makeup stuff on TikTok. So I already curled my lashes off camera, but this one is more of one that like curls and volumes it. I would say the blue one is more that clumps it. So if you like more of the clumpy one, go ahead. For my eyebrows, I use this. This is the L'Oreal Micro Ink Pen. Before I use it, I use this right here. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I also do soap brows, but I didn't want to get my soap out right now. Use this right here, and I love this because it looks like I'm adding more hair. So next is lips. I know I have like a full routine. Like This is my makeup routine, not my everyday makeup routine. This isn't everyday. What I do is I like my lips to be plumped, so I use this LA Girl or LA Color Lip Plumper. This is like way better than the Too Faced one. I tried the Too Faced one, it just, I don't know. 
it was like twenty five dollars for that little for that thing, and this works the same. I think I want to spend this, and I like to kind of get it on my skin because the lip the lip plumper actually works better. Like your lips are actually bigger when you put it on your skin because it kind of like gets that area like inflamed the outside. And I mainly use this for the lip plumper. This I know this is a tinted one, but I let this sit for five minutes, and while I do that. I scroll on TikTok. Okay, so after I let this sit for a little, I usually go with it like with a baby wipe. I have like a lip collection. For my tint, I like to use this one. This is the Ulta Beauty Cherry Pie Lip Tint. This smells amazing and I kind of want to eat it. Anyway, I use this to tint my lips. Once I add the lip tints, the last thing I do with my lips, I don't line my lips just because I don't really like it. For lips, I use the Ulta Beauty Lip Infused Lip Oil or whatever I just said. This is Madison Beer's favorite lip oil. I don't really know who Madison Beer is. I just heard that on TikTok, so. Yeah. The last, last thing I do is highlighter. For highlighter, I don't like liquid highlighter for some reason. Um, I like powder highlighter, but this is the wet and wild highlighting powder i take this brush right here don't really know what this is but this is my highlighting brush and what i do is i just take some and put it on the top now i like really heavy highlighter for some reason i know some people are like oh my god i put too much no you can never have too much highlighter like i just really like the heavy highlighter look take some and put it on my nose like this i put it on on my cupid's bow kind of where the skin is then i take some and put it on the corner of my eye and that ladies and gentlemen is my makeup routine last thing is setting spray i use the sephora setting spray i can't tell you guys if this stuff is good or not because i'm not a setting spray person like i actually forget to wear it oh, i got it in my mouth I know the setting spray kind of like sinks everything in and makes my skin kind of look more flawless. Since my eyeliner kind of smudges since the thing is from Dollar Tree. It's not bad because it's from Dollar Tree, but like kind of smudges. So that's why I use this. Like I said, pretty much this is what I do every week. I don't really do eyeliner a lot. I would say I do eyeliner every other week. Like you know it's kind of weird in my makeup routine this is it i hope that you guys enjoyed this just know that you don't need makeup to look pretty this just accentuates your beauty so i would really really appreciate it if you guys subscribed we are almost at 500 subscribers like i can't believe that um so just go ahead and subscribe like this video and comment what else you want to see like i need video ideas i will take any video ideas and if you guys want a shout out Go ahead and comment. I want a shout out and I will give it to you in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.